you know, Ghana, the president of Ghana has issued uh, uh, some special uh, opportunities for African Americans who want to move to Ghana. Mm -hmm. They make housing provisions. They have tax allotments. They have a, a, a huge incentive package. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. My name is Eko Simpson. I'm a Ghanaian, um, and I live in Ghana. Well, you are watching this channel because somebody introduced you to it. It was recommended or suggested to you on YouTube. Basically, my YouTube channel is to connect Africans and the motherland to Africans in the diaspora. So... Thank you for checking me out. If this is your first time of watching my videos, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hey, what's grinding, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. It's a good afternoon here in Ghana, West Africa, beautiful motherland. How do you see my new outfit? Yes, uh, I purposely got this to be making my video so that I can stand out. Now, this is called Fugu, uh, mostly worn by the people of the north yeah so the northern part of ghana they wear this kind of outfit but lately oh lately i know people have been wearing it so uh, i think it feels cool when you wear it because you have you know more spaces here to enjoy the air the breeze and all that so hey if this is your first time of checking out my youtube channel please subscribe the other day i was just going through my analytics and i realized that most people who watch my videos haven't subscribed that was about 70% um, of people who watch my YouTube channel. So please, if you are here, kindly subscribe today. Just click on the subscription button and then you are good to go. So today I have this beautiful news. So I saw it on the internet. I was like, no, let me share this with my followers. So I had a tag. Somebody tagged me on Instagram and I went to check the video. And it was about Steve Harvey having a conversation with other panels talking about Stevie Wonder coming to Ghana and then he himself showing that love for Ghana and wanting to purchase a property here in Ghana. Uh, and it's something that we're definitely going to do is to own property and land in Ghana. And uh, the, ad the, the uh, advantage of waking up in Africa for me Mm -hmm. And I wish every African American could go see it is to wake up and for the first time in your life, not be a minority. And that was beautiful. I was like, yo, my issue got to do with the brothers and sisters who are making it happen in the diaspora who don't want to look back and say, yo, my root is from Africa. So why don't I go do something in Africa? Maybe invest in a business, um, you know, help build Africa, whether Ghana, Nigeria, wherever, you know what I mean? So I was very happy and I am still happy seeing Steve Harvey. He's been to Ghana like multiple times and he was talking about him uh, getting a property, getting a house here in Ghana, I think Joburg and then one other country. And Steve Wonder was talking to Oprah and he made mention that, quote unquote, he said, um, I would move to Ghana permanently because I don't want my great great grandchildren to beg for acceptance, quote unquote. So I am very happy that the whole Stevie Wonder, the whole Stevie Wonder, want to move to the motherland. So he's coming to the motherland just as Steve Harvey. I've seen a lot of people who are also coming. I mean, Mick Mill also made a comment on Twitter saying that uh, I would like to, you know, move to Ghana, go see, invest, buy a property in Ghana. So let's see what happens. I'm waiting for. Low Wayne, 50 Cent, you know, I keep mentioning these names because they are influential people, whether you like it or not. They are influential to the game they are playing over there. So I keep mentioning their names so that, because when they talk about the motherland and accept to be part of the motherland, nobody is forcing anybody to be part of the motherland. No, we are naturally for the motherland. All right. So that is why I keep saying that I am happy when I see these brothers and sisters talk about the motherland so let's go and watch the video and then come back and have a conversation and hear what exactly steve harvey said about himself and steve wonder but don't forget put up a comment whatever you hear in the video if you think there's something you need to say to me or to the audience the people just put it up in a comment and let's take it from there so watch this video 
We'll be right back. He put I it out there, it. didn't he? Yeah. You know, on a serious note, you know, Ghana, the president of Ghana has issued uh, uh, some special uh, opportunities for African-Americans who want to move to Ghana. Mm -hmm. They make housing provisions. They have tax allotments. They have a, a, a huge incentive package that they've created for African-Americans. Uh, I've been to the president of Ghana's home. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my good friends is uh, very heavily involved in Ghana when he lives there. He's one of the top businessmen over there. And uh, it's something that um, it's definitely a place that uh, Marjorie and I have looked at a home there yeah. and Botswana. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh, those are the two places that we thought about a home. She also looked at Joburg. Uh, and it's something that we're definitely going to do is to own property and land in Ghana. And uh, the, ad the, the uh, advantage of waking up in Africa for me, mm -hmm. and I wish every African-American could go see it, is to wake up and for the first time in your life not be a minority. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm talking about everywhere you go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. you are the majority nice. and uh -huh. unless you've had that refreshing feeling that yeah. when the police pull you over in Ghana it is to stop you from something you did mm -hmm. and they're not going to shoot you yeah that's 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 uh -huh. Uh -huh. and I you can live your that. life in peace now, I ain't saying it's crime free because it's mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. but man they got some beautiful homes over there some beautiful land it's it's amazing. It is not the picture of the propaganda picture that America has painted Africa to be. If you go to Joburg, it's like New York City smaller. The yeah. food is exquisite. The homes are amazing. Mm -hmm. And because of apartheid, a lot of the whites built these homes in certain districts with large walls and towers to keep the blacks out. Doing mm -hmm. doing the changeover for apartheid, and they just keep the blacks out. Period. Well, a huge number of blacks own those homes now. Wow, nice. <laughs> a wow. huge mm -hmm. number. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, they live in their best life over there. Now, does the country have some problems? Yes, mm -hmm. but ain't America got some? Oh yeah, uh -huh. yeah. yeah. I ain't Racism. mad at Stevie. It's mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. Okay. I'm definitely working with the. Uh, Tourism Board of South Africa to do a trip mm -hmm. that I'm going to do through this radio station, this mm -hmm. radio show, mm -hmm. and I'm going to take a large constituencies of black contingents or whatever the word is, a lot of people. I was gonna say, say a lot of people. People. You know, I was trying to sound, you know, yeah. you know, brighter. But you, you know, said I, large constituents. You taking voters? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> them too. Them too. Yeah. Hey, right. Junior. We hey, never junior. leave our voters. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I junior. voters. Hey, junior. Be careful. <laughs> be careful. Voters. I know the word was wrong. You know, <laughs> I, I didn't know if it was constituents or continuances or, you know, immigrants. I ain't know what to call it. Immigrants. <laughs> just, just say people, man. <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to get with the tourism board and do it. You know, and I'm going to take mm -hmm. a lot of people over there so they can see. Because it's amazing, man. Hey, so did you watch the video? I hope you absorbed everything that Steve Harvey said. The movement to Ghana, getting property in Ghana and all that. Anyway, so if you want to move to the motherland, don't hesitate. Take the first chance. Come to the motherland. Experience the motherland. And you would love it. So, hey, thank you very much for checking me out. Peace out. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel.